It is so nice having you here. Thank you for being here. It's so nice to be here. I feel like this is such a legendary main moment. Really? I'm starstruck, Danny. Hey, really? Yeah, you're iconic. Really? Yeah. Tell me more. Oh, and, <laughs> I mean, the studio audience agrees. <laughs> I don't know if they do. <laughs> well, that's okay. We're here together. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is a moment. This is definitely is. a moment. Actually, can you all just go home? Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, I want to talk about your reality show, Surviving Paradise. Okay. So um, if people don't know the premise of it, why don't you talk them through it a little bit? Sure. So anyone who watches reality TV, I would say it's a mixture between Survivor, Big Brother, maybe a dash of Love Island, but not for me in particular. So essentially, we all, 12 of us, started out at this villa, this beautiful mansion. We think we're about to have the summer of our lives. Next thing we know, we are stripped of all of our belongings and actually living in the woods. <laughs> and had to claw our way back up to the villa. And I come claws ready, so you'll just have to see for more. <laughs> That's amazing. So how did you get into this? Did you have to apply for it, or how did this all work? Yes, so I saw a show on Netflix called The Circle, if anyone's ever heard yes. of that. And I just felt like I needed to be on it. I don't know, something about it. I've always loved reality TV, but something about that show I felt like, let's do this thing. So I Googled, applied to the circle, which probably is a bit of a sketchy thing to do. Yeah. But I uh, gave them all my information nonetheless, and they weren't casting for the circle at that time. So the producers still reached back out to me and were like, we have this other show we can't tell you anything about, but we think that you should apply for this. Two years later, I'm um, in the woods. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. They didn't tell you anything about Nothing. it. And you said, I'm in. Yeah, I'm a crazy person. Yes, you are. Yeah. My goodness. Yes. <laughs> so what went through your mind? What did you expect? Did you expect to be in paradise? Like, what, how did, I'm fascinated by this yes. all of a sudden. So the working title was Jet Set. Which I knew they were just trying to lure the bougie into applying for this. You know what I mean? Sure. Uh -huh. So I had an idea that something fishy was kind of going on, which made me, I guess, less scared of doing yeah. something. I didn't know what it was. I was like, they're up to no good. And even though I don't know what it is, at least You're I know that much. With both <laughs> Would you do that, Christy? Would you go into a, a reality show that you know nothing about? I might. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I might. I don't know I that might. I would. I feel like the no, next no. thing I know, if, there's going to be like... If I was approached on the right day, I, I probably would say yes. It doesn't really? matter about yeah. the day. Did, did you does. have any inkling of what the prize would be? Yes. Okay. So I knew there was money at the end. and Well, I'm, now we're talking. Yeah, now we're talking. So I knew it was going to be a $100,000 cash prize. It did end up being more than that for anyone who watched, but no more spoilers. But <laughs> yeah, I knew there was money at the end, and I knew it was a competition. And okay. I'm very competitive. And that was kind of why I was interested in doing a reality show anyway. Sure. So I said, what, what do I have to lose? Yeah, so I don't <laughs> want you saying anything, for people who haven't seen it, I, I yes. don't want you saying anything about who won and how they won or anything mm -hmm. like that. But... Uh, what sort of competition existed? You said you had to claw your way. Yes. What does that mean? So not only did I know nothing going into this, but even throughout the whole show, everything was a surprise, a twist, and a turn. So what it ended up being is really an alliance-based game and who you could get to trust you, who could you know, take you to the end, essentially. There mm -hmm. were some physical challenges and, of course, just the challenge of living outside on its own. But what it really came down to was people's spirits. Meaning? Meaning, are you a good egg or are you a bad egg? And where did you fall in that mix? <laughs> You'll have to see, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, did that you sounds have to, like, fascinating. Eat bugs and things like that outside? Um, didn't have to. <laughs> no, I didn't eat any bugs. Okay. I didn't eat any bugs. No. What did you eat? Um, so we had rice and beans. I will say they mm. provided. Yeah. That's they, good like once, it's and good. then it's you're done with it. Right? Yes. Yeah. The lack of flavor is alarming. It's not something you think of until you're put into that position. We did yeah. also have chickens, which we got eggs from. Okay. Don't get any ideas about the chickens. Some people tried to. Tried to what? Slaughter them? Sla yeah. Oh, I don't know. Come on, Danny. Danny. Yeah, come let's on. go. I, I, was, I should have been your partner in this show. Oh, well, we would, would But I, my mind went to a totally different place with those poor chickens. And I'm just saying, <laughs> that was appalling. Slaughtering would have been yeah. beneficial to them. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry. I need to cleanse myself for a minute yes. now. Yes. 
Um, why don't we, so that's on Netflix, still streaming on Netflix. Yes. Um, would you do it again? Yes, in a heartbeat. Really? Yeah, I'm so competitive, it's a problem. And I actually had a lot of fun, you know. But there's other ways to compete. You can have like a, a, nice, a nice game of cornhole, for example. <laughs> Uh, pish posh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. I, I'm a Sagittarius, Danny. I had to take Me it all too. the way. I've heard I weird, knew yeah. too. I knew we got along for a reason. I've heard, I've heard interesting mm -hmm. things about you, Sagittarius. Yeah. <laughs>